Hello Kitty Guitar! <laughs> Hey guys, Little V here. Yes, you can use my music. No, I don't do tabs. And for whatever reason, Chris Rock was coming through my amp earlier, so that's a thing. So, it's been a while since we've had one of these, hasn't it? God, it's been, what, a month maybe? I think it's been about a month. Like the last time I did an update video like this, I think it was talking about the pink guitar, which is not this, by the way, if you're wondering. This is not the outcome of that. That's something completely different. But uh, this is a Hello Kitty uh, Strat. It is a Squire uh, Affinity series. This was, um, God, when did they make this thing? Like 2005 or something like that? They made a run of these things? Basically, long story short, one of my students, who is super awesome, and I don't know if she uh, wants her name mentioned in the video or not, but I, she, I, she's awesome. She's absolutely amazing. This is a Hello Kitty Strat and uh, has the Hello Kitty on the back. Also has the matching uh, strap, matching bag. There's even Hello Kitty picks with it. And she just gave it to me, and so immediately, of course, what do I do? I throw it in death metal drop C tuning, and go ham with it. And actually, this pickup, whatever this is, this is a dirty, dirty pickup. It is uh, not meant for the nice, sweet sounding stuff, but it is perfect for going chugga chugga weedly weedly. By the way, all the parts of the pink guitar are here. I just have to assemble them. And uh, as a little sneak preview, here's the pick guard. Before we jump into the 50,000, almost 51,000 subscribers at this point video, I just want to give a quick little shout out to Rift City Guitar because, man, those guys are awesome. So first off, they're sending me up a uh, black pick guard for my Cap 10, which I was trying to track one of those down for a while, and Joe got back to me, and yeah, he's sending one up for me now, so I'm so excited. Also, Joe is a sweetheart. He is like the nicest guy. All the guys at Rift City are awesome, and just... Like, if, just watch all their videos, they're hilarious. I just, I, I'm subscribed to their YouTube page. They make a lot of awesome content. But, on another note, they are doing a contest, which, uh, if a few of you, hold on a second here, before I get into this, let me change guitars. BAM! So, most of you should know what this is already. Chapman ML7T, uh, if you didn't see the review video, you probably saw the cover video I used this in yesterday. And, uh, basically, long and short of it is, uh, Rift City is giving one of these away. And, uh... I know at least a couple of you have been asking a couple questions about it, you know, how does the neck feel, where to pick it up and stuff like that. And, uh, well, to my uh, friends stateside, you guys are in luck, because basically the contest is film yourself playing something on either a 7, 8, 9, or in a drop tuning, just nothing in standard. Extended range is the theme of this thing, and send it in, and that enters you in a chance to win this thing. Which, by the way, I went and checked the American price, this is like 709 on Rift City's website with free shipping to the states. Like, go get it. So, if you'd like more information on the contest, click right here. And, uh, yeah, I won't be entering, obviously, because I already have one, and because the contest is only open to American residents, so sorry, rest of the world. That being said, you can still head over to Rift City Guitars' YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, their actual website, and just send Joe and the guys some love. Now that I'm done selling out, 50,000 subscribers. Actually, almost 51. Probably 51 by the time this video goes up. Like, wow. Wow. Like, just to put that in perspective. Last year, around this time, I think I had 16 or 17,000. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Like, I feel bad because it just sounds, I just sound like a broken record every time we hit a milestone, but like, my god, I feel like I still remember 10 subscribers, 25 subscribers, 50 subscribers, and like even 100 subscribers, all that. And I was like, oh my god, 25, yeah, I'm getting there. And now it's like, I'm, it's getting to the point where I'm like, I honestly have like, I, I don't expect it to keep getting this big, and it does. And just thank you guys so much. And to everyone else there who does YouTube themselves, and you know, if I could pass on words of wisdom, and unfortunately I'm gonna cop out and do the cheesy thing, and just. Whatever you want to do in life, just do it. Like I didn't, I didn't start YouTube to be a YouTube, you know. To make, I'm not even gonna consider myself a YouTube celebrity of any sort. I'm only fifty thousand. There's plenty of more guys out there who are way more talented and have way more views than me. But like, I never thought I'd get to this point. When I started YouTube, it was basically just as a resume for gigs, so I could be like, here is what I can do. And then I started getting. Uh, uh, claims from other companies because it was like, oh, you're using music in the background because you're playing drums against them. Like, well, maybe I'll learn guitar too. And like, heck, maybe I'll do all of it. I'll just do all the parts together. And then here we are. So yeah, that is the thing. And just follow your dreams. Like that's, 
as cheesy and as stereotypical as it sounds, like, like that's all there is to it. It's just do it if you want. If you love doing it, make time. Do it. Stick to a schedule. And the best piece of advice I can give you, especially if you're doing if you're doing YouTube kind of stuff, is treat it like a job, not a hobby. Have an actual upload schedule. Like I mean, I try and get at least one cover out every week. You know, now I'm trying to add more stuff and lessons and stuff, which, you know, it's going to be a little erratic for the next week. I'll explain why in a second. But, like, just be consistent and do it because you love it. And not just on YouTube. Life, in general. Do it because you love it. Anyways, I'm rambling. I have to get to the next point here because I'm going to run out of battery power. All right, before I continue, there's something I need to clear up. And my older subscribers should know this already, but the newer subscribers don't. And it is, a, like, a pretty big pet peeve of mine is one of the things I do not like about YouTube and let me just I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little bit close here hold on let me just readjust this here because I want I want to make this like perfectly clear hold on hold on hold on oh oh there we go all right all right all right ready if I don't want to do the song you don't want to hear it I have this thing where the more I keep seeing a record like do this song do this song do this song do this song every time I read that my interest drops exponentially. You want two good examples? I have no desire to do Wally's theme or Argonos' theme at all. I did until I got 16 replies on the comment on Mick Gordon's page saying do Argonos' theme. And this can be very easily rectified, people, by just reading the comments. The more I see of that, it feels more like people are pressuring me to do a song and not me wanting to do the song. And it makes me lose interest in wanting to do the song because it makes me feel like I'm just doing the song because people are telling me to do it and not because I want to do it. And ultimately, if I'm not having fun making the song, you're not going to enjoy the song. It's just how it is. So please, you can request all you want. Like I said, sometimes I might look at it and go, oh yeah, there have been a couple instances where I'm like, oh, it's a cool idea. I'll do that one. But don't bombard me with the same thing over and over again. So, now that my subscriber count has dropped back below 50,000, let's move on to the reason why I've been super busy and my uploads have been kind of erratic. So, if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, I have been recording the next Black Pestilence album, and it is kind of crunch time, and it's just... It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of work doing that, plus I've had a lot of gigs, and also uh, shooting for a music video tomorrow, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun because someone gets murdered. I don't know if it's gonna top playing drums on top of a bus cool, but it's gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, so that's been taking up primarily my time because we're on a really tight schedule for getting it done because we have a bunch of gigs we want to get it released for. So, like I said, if things get a little sporadic and all over the place, I apologize. That's why. And uh, right after that in April, I think every week I have at least one gig. Plus, I'm going to be recording another guy as well, too. So yeah, the next month may be a little erratic, so I apologize in my upload schedules. But if you are a fan of... Especially punk rock. This 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 Black Pestilence album is very punk rock, and it's old school. It is mic'd up drum kits, mic'd up amps. It's what you would get live, and that's what I was going for when I was like engineering this thing. Is I wanted to sound like it would sound live. So yeah, if uh, punk rock slash black metal is your thing, go check out Black Pestilence. So I can already tell this video is going to be way longer than I intended it to, but uh, yeah, sorry if I got preachy there in the middle, it's just, it's a pet peeve of mine, and it's like the one thing, my one complaint about YouTube, and it's just the echo chamber of the comment sections, because let's be honest, the comment sections aren't exactly holy and sacred on YouTube. Anyways guys, I hope you're enjoying spring. Uh, I'm not. It's actually kind of creepy outside. It looks like Silent Hill. It's really thick fog. I'm, I'm just fully expecting like my inner demons to just try and attack me. Rock on, peace out, and we'll see you next time. Shoulder Pauldron.